Growing Up Blacksican. Hey guys, it's Ruby with GrowingUpBlacksican.com and today I'm sharing a cute DIY we made for little ladies room, perfect for the springtime to display her photos. For this DIY, you will need a wired frame, streamer, scissors, clothespins, and here's a cute idea to get them glittered, some photos on cardstock, some string, glue gun, and glue, and of course, as a Walmart mom, this video is sponsored by Walmart. Add some cute flowers made out of streamers to your frame. Follow this easy technique using any size of streamer. Fold down like a triangle and fold again as if you're rolling it. Continue to do so until all of the triangle is gone and then fold back and around and continue until all of your streamer is done. These flowers are super easy to make. Depending on how long you have your streamer will be how thick your flowers will be. We used about three feet of streamer, which is okay because streamer is fairly inexpensive and you can get so many flowers out of one roll. Once you reach the end of your flower streamer, wrap it around towards the bottom and secure it with some glue. Be careful because the glue gun is very hot. Follow the steps until you have made four little flowers. Using the green streamer, cut out three leaves. You will need two for the top with three flowers. Arrange them onto your frame like so and secure them using your glue gun. Be sure to glue the leaves first and then the flowers. After the flowers are secured at the top, be sure to move to the bottom and add one flower with one leaf. Next, go ahead and turn your frame over and add some string to hang it. This is totally optional. You can also just stand this on a dresser. It would look perfectly fine. And last but not least, go ahead and add your pictures using those cute clothespins and you're all done. Doesn't it look super cute? This is an awesome DIY for a bedroom or your home or office. Feel free to get the complete list of supplies that are available at Walmart on our blog at growingupblacksicken.com. And that is it. We hope we've inspired you to display your photos and to get a little crafty. Be sure to head on over to our blog for more DIYs. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.